As we look ahead to the winners of 2025 and 2026, many are asking, what kind of season is in store for the UK? Will it be another mild winter, or are we on the brink of something much colder and more dramatic? With autumn 2025 approaching, the air is already tinged with anticipation. Across the country, people are noticing the subtle signs, crisper mornings, longer nights, and a certain chill that hints at what's to come. The question on everyone's mind, could this be the year we see a return to classic British winters with snow, ice, and biting winds? Despite the UK experiencing one of its warmest years on record, early long-range weather models are now suggesting a shift. There are growing indications that the upcoming winter could be colder than average, a notable change from recent trends. Meteorologists are watching these signals closely, as they could mean a significant departure from the milder winters we've grown used to. Of course, a colder outlook doesn't guarantee a season-long deep freeze, but it does mean the risk of notable cold snaps is higher than usual, especially as we move into the early months of 2026. These cold spells could bring everything from frosty mornings to disruptive snowfalls, particularly in northern and rural areas. The main player in this wintry drama is the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air high above the Arctic. If the vortex weakens or shifts, it can unleash frigid Arctic air southward, sweeping across the UK. This could mean a spell of crisp, clear days, sharp overnight frosts, and the kind of snow events that transform the landscape and disrupt daily life. Current projections highlight January and February 2026 as the most likely periods for these cold outbreaks. These months could see the most dramatic swings in temperature, with the potential for both beautiful winter scenes and challenging travel conditions. It's important to remember that long-range forecasts are all about probabilities, not guarantees. Weather is famously unpredictable and even the best models can only suggest what's more or less likely. Still, the risk of a colder, more volatile winter is higher than we've seen in recent years. December may begin on a milder, wetter note, with frequent storms and rain sweeping in from the Atlantic. But as the season progresses, there's a strong chance of a dramatic shift, ushering in colder, drier air and the possibility of snow. This could truly be a winter of two halves, with the second half feeling much more like the classic British winters of the past. In the next scenes, we'll break down the key drivers behind these forecasts. Factors like the polar vortex, sudden stratospheric warming, and other global weather patterns that can tip the balance toward cold or mild conditions. We'll also explore what all this means for your winter plans, from travel and outdoor activities, to how you heat your home and prepare for possible disruptions. By understanding these weather patterns and what they could bring, we can all be better prepared, whether it's stocking up on supplies, planning for school closures, or simply enjoying the beauty of a true British winter. To truly understand why some winters in the UK turn bitterly cold, we need to look far to the north, towards the mysterious and powerful polar vortex. This vast, swirling system of icy air sits high above the Arctic, acting as a kind of invisible barrier between the frigid polar regions and the milder climates further south. The polar vortex is a swirling mass of extremely cold air, spinning rapidly in the stratosphere above the North Pole. It's not something we can see with the naked eye, but its influence stretches all the way down to our weather here in the UK. When the vortex is strong and stable, it acts like a sturdy fence, trapping the coldest air over the Arctic Circle. This means the UK and much of Europe are shielded from the harshest winter chills, often experiencing milder, wetter conditions instead of snow and ice. But if the vortex weakens, becomes unstable, or even splits into smaller swirls, that protective barrier breaks down. Suddenly, the cold Arctic air is free to surge southwards, spilling over Europe and the UK. This is when we see dramatic shifts in our weather. Temperatures can plummet, and snow can blanket the landscape in a matter of days. These sudden changes can flip our weather from the familiar damp and mild winters to ones that are cold, crisp, and snowy. Streets that were wet one day can be covered in snow the next, catching many by surprise. A weakened vortex doesn't just let in cold air, it also disrupts the powerful jet stream, the high-altitude river of wind that shapes our weather patterns. When the jet stream becomes wavy and erratic, it can pull cold, dry air from the north or east, allowing it to dominate the UK for weeks at a time. Interestingly, these changes in the stratosphere don't affect us immediately. It can take several weeks for a disrupted vortex to influence our weather at ground level. This delay gives meteorologists a crucial window to analyze data and predict when a cold spell might hit. This winter, 
computer models and atmospheric observations are suggesting that the polar vortex may be less stable than usual. This instability increases the risk of Arctic air outbreaks, making it more likely that the UK could experience colder and snowier conditions than in recent years. Think of the vortex as the master switch for our winter weather. When it's strong, it keeps the cold locked away, but if it falters, that icy air can flood in, transforming our winter almost overnight. And it's not just the vortex at play, other atmospheric factors like pressure systems and ocean temperatures are also lining up this year, increasing the chances that the Arctic's icy gatekeeper might let the cold in. That's why meteorologists are keeping a close eye on the polar vortex this season, watching for any signs that it might weaken and open the door to a truly wintry UK. One dramatic event for the polar vortex is sudden stratospheric warming, or SSW. This rapid warming high above the Arctic can shatter the vortex, unleashing cold air southward. A major SSW is likely around January 2026, signaling a big weather shift. Effects usually reach us two weeks later, so a mid-January SSW could mean a February cold snap. SSWs often trigger high-pressure blocks that divert mild Atlantic winds and open the door to icy blasts from Siberia or the Arctic. This setup is classic for widespread UK snow and ice. Not every SSW brings a beast from the east, but it greatly increases the risk. This winter, conditions are more favorable for an SSW than in years past. It's the wildcard meteorologists are watching. Another key player is La Nina, a Pacific Ocean pattern that can ripple across the globe. This winter, a weak La Nina is expected, energizing the Atlantic jet stream early on. December could be stormy and mild with heavy rain and strong winds, especially in the west and north. As winter deepens, La Nina's influence may shift, helping the jet stream buckle and allowing cold air to invade. This sets up a two-halves winter stormy at first, then potentially frigid. The transition explains why a cold winter doesn't mean snow from day one. Flooding risks may come early, but the bigger story is the potential for a cold, snowy end. La Nina is a crucial piece of the winter puzzle. The North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, is another major factor in shaping the UK's winter weather. While it might sound technical, the NAO is essentially a measure of the atmospheric tug-of-war between two key regions, Iceland and the Azores. This invisible battle in the skies has a huge impact on the weather we experience on the ground. The NAO tracks the pressure difference between these two locations, and this difference controls the strength and direction of the westerly winds that sweep across the North Atlantic towards Europe. When the pressure contrast is high, those winds are strong and persistent, driving weather systems straight into the UK. In early winter, forecasts suggest a positive NAO phase. This means we can expect powerful westerly winds bringing milder temperatures, frequent rain, and a higher risk of storms rolling in from the Atlantic. The UK often sees unsettled, wet, and windy conditions during this time. But, as we move into January and February, a significant shift is likely. The NAO is expected to turn negative, which often coincides with a weakening polar vortex and the potential for a sudden stratospheric warming event, both of which can disrupt the usual flow of weather patterns. During a negative NAO, the westerly winds lose their strength, the jet stream becomes wavier and less direct, allowing high-pressure systems to block the usual Atlantic storms and reroute the flow of air across Europe. This change opens the door for cold air to spill in from the north and east, setting the stage for classic UK cold spells. Snow, frost and icy conditions become much more likely, especially in the latter part of winter. Meteorologists are closely watching this forecasted NAO shift, as it's a crucial piece of the puzzle for predicting a colder, potentially snowier winter across the UK. The transition from a stormy, Atlantic-driven pattern to a blocked continental setup is a dramatic one. It marks the point where the UK's weather can flip from wet and windy to cold and settled, sometimes almost overnight. In essence, the NAO acts as the gatekeeper for Arctic air. When it swings negative, it unlocks the potential for true winter weather, making it one of the most important signals to watch as the season unfolds. Not all regions will feel winter's bite equally. Northerly winds favor Scotland and northern England for heavy snow, easterlies target eastern counties. These areas are most likely to see significant snowfall and the coldest temperatures. Central UK will get cold snaps and some snow, 
but less than the north, even moderate snow can disrupt travel and daily life. Southern England will be colder than usual, with more frosts and a chillier feel, but heavy snow is less likely. Any snow in the south will be fleeting but icy roads remain a concern. The main story for the south, a persistently cold winter, not a snowstorm. A cold winter strains energy supplies, higher heating demand means higher bills, especially with tight gas margins. Households may feel the pinch and vulnerable customers will need extra support. Severe cold can disrupt transport. Snow and ice can halt roads, railways, and airports. Local authorities must be ready with salt, grit, and gritting fleets. The public should prepare for travel delays and check forecasts before journeys. The NHS faces extra pressure, with more hospital admissions from cold-related illnesses and accidents. Cold health alerts will warn when weather poses health risks, especially for the elderly. A severe winter tests the resilience of public services and infrastructure. Planning and preparation are essential to manage increased demand. Recent history shows how disruptive a severe UK winter can be. The winter of 2010, driven by a negative NAO, brought the big freeze, weeks of snow, record lows, and nationwide chaos. Airports closed, schools shut, and rural areas were cut off. The economic cost ran into billions. More recently, the beast from the east in 2018 followed a sudden stratospheric warming. High pressure over Scandinavia drew in Siberian air, bringing blizzards and severe wind chills. Red weather warnings were issued and transport networks were crippled. Thousands lost power and the country ground to a halt. These events show what's possible when atmospheric patterns align. They're not meant to alarm, but to remind us to be prepared. This winter's forecast has echoes of those years. With a higher risk of a cold winter, preparation is key. Check your heating system, insulate your home, and block drafts to keep warm and save energy. Government grants may help with insulation. Check with your council or supplier. For travel, keep a winter kit in your car, and check forecasts before setting out. If conditions are severe, avoid unnecessary journeys and let someone know your plans. Wear layers, hats, gloves, and sturdy footwear to stay warm and safe outdoors. Check on elderly or vulnerable neighbors to ensure they're safe and have supplies. Even simple steps, like drawing curtains at dusk, can make a difference. By planning ahead, we can all face winter's challenges with confidence. Whatever the weather brings, a little preparation goes a long way.